Hey, I'm Brandon and Jonathan's behind the camera. We're going to talk about how to use a Phillips defibrillator in order to pace somebody transcutaneously. So most of the time you use this for third degree heart block. Um, the other ones you might use atropine for first degree or second degree type 1. But um, kind of important parts about pacing somebody is that you need to make sure that you have both the defibrillator pads on somebody and the, um, the wires, the EKG wires, because the defibrillator can't pace and sense at the same time. So you have to have one that senses and one that paces. So just make sure you have either your three lead or five lead, whatever you have um, next to you, and then the pacer, the pads on side of the patient. Okay, so then you turn on the monitor. An important part to do is um, look at the monitor. You'll see the patient's heart rate. You see third degree heart block right there. That's like around like 30 beats per second. The important part is, is you make sure you put it on pacer mode, this gray one right here and you automatically hit right away, hit start pacing. And you will see the pacer spikes start coming up as far as the sensing. So the, the fibrillator will automatically sense. So you have to see it automatically sets up your default settings at a rate of 80 and a pacer output of 50. Now currently right now, there is no um, capture, it's just sensing. So if, if the doctor wants 80, then you just change the pacer output. You can go with this relatively quickly. The key point is once you start seeing capture, you go 10 milliamps above it. So let's just kind of do it. So 50, 60, not working, 70, not working, 80. Oh, there you go. You got some capture. Make sure you get 100% capture. Then you go 10, 10 milliamps above that, and then you're done. So just make sure to always hit start pacing, and that's, that's it. That's how you pace the patient.